Do you want to be the hero DevOps engineer who delivers rare, easily measurable value and actually saves costs while you do it? Terraform Cloud is powerful, but if you're not careful, it can get pricey fast. Hey folks, welcome back to Merge Ready. Today we're talking Terraform Cloud costs. Not your cloud bills, but Terraform's resource under management, or RUM. Whether you're a DevOps engineer or CTO, stick around as we'll break things down and cover five actionable cost-saving tips. Hit like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you've been hit by a surprise Terraform bill. What is RUM? No, not that. RUM counts every managed resource in your Terraform state, even tiny ones like disks or security rules, and billing is based on your hourly peak managed resources. For example, 2,000 resources peak equals 1,500 chargeable after the 500 free. That's around $150 a month just for Terraform hosting. Size doesn't matter in RUM. A T2 micro or an M54X large is counted as one resource. Only the number of resources and peak usage matters. Five tips to slash RUM costs. Number one, audit and group resources. Group related items into fewer resources resource blocks. Fewer blocks equals less RUM. In our instance, we do want the RUM to be gone. Archive or delete idle workspaces, inactive dev or feature workspaces still use RUM. Archive or move them off to S3 to cut the peak count. Number three, use ephemeral or short-lived workspaces. Enable ephemeral workspaces or schedule cleanup. They exist only during the runs so they don't incur a 24-7 RUM. Number four, add pre-planned cost estimation tasks. Use InfraCost or Terraform cost estimation blocks or review plans that add X amount of resources. Number five, monitor RUM peaks and consider alternatives. Watch your hourly peak RUM. If it's greater than 10,000 always, SaaS may cost 2,000 plus a month and may be looking to self-hosted backends. Action steps. Audit your state for resource counts, archive unused workspaces and enable ephemeral workspaces. Add cost tasks, monitor RUM peaks and evaluate backends. These steps can cut hundreds or thousands from your Terraform bill, often more than you save on cloud instances. If this helped, please like, comment your tips, and subscribe for more DevOps insights. Thank you, DevOps Digital, for supporting this video. If you want an expert in DevSecOps, CI, CD, there's a link in the description below. Check out this other video if you want to learn more about Terraform HCP. Happy Terraforming, and see you next time. Let's get merge ready. Oh, need a drink now.